Yeah, I mean, I was always the only girl um, in these activities growing up. You know, I was the only uh, girl in math club. I was one of two girls in tech club. When I got into MIT, um, all the boys were saying that it's only because I was a girl that I got in. And so I think I've always felt that uh, because my parents were so supportive and they never um, uh, gave me different opportunities because of my gender, um, I didn't internalize it so much. Uh, but I think I did internalize not having women role models. Uh, so I only had one woman professor in all of my undergrad career in chemical engineering. Uh, and I think unconsciously, when I thought about becoming a professor, I would think, you know, I'm never, I, I don't know what that looks like. I'm so different from my professors and I can't see myself doing this. They're so much smarter than me. They're mostly all men. Um, and so I just didn't think it was that I, I could do it. Um, and now as a professor here, I see that just me being here makes a difference. Um, my lab is 50% women. Um, I, and I, I mentor a lot of women outside of my lab. So I have a lot of women graduate students coming to talk to me. Um, just, I think, feeling more comfortable talking to me um, compared to maybe some of my other colleagues who are not intimidating, but it's just that they can relate to me um, a little more. Uh, and in my, uh, I, I'm teaching general chemistry now for freshmen. Uh, and the, my students are very engaged. And I would say the majority of the students asking questions in class are women. Um, and it's really nice to see them open up and um, be vocal um, and advocate for themselves. Um, so I think that um, I think that change is happening slowly, uh, and having more diversity will accelerate that. And so that's why I think the the uh, provost postdoctoral fellowship is so important to provide support and continue this pipeline of um, having diverse um, uh, faculty members that students can relate to so that they can see themselves in these roles.